Yes, I'm not wearing my suit for this video because it's in the wash. Yeah, that's a big excuse for me. The reason why I was actually wearing that suit in the first place is because, well, I wore it to a christening. So that's why I was wearing that suit in the first place. And since, like, the John Wick 3 came out, I'm like, I can wear that in my review because it will make me look like John Wick. So, for now, I'll just wear a black long sleeve for now. I'll try my best to get it washed for my John Wick 3 review because I just watched that movie yesterday. Not gonna tell you how I feel about it yet. First, we need to review John Wick Chapter 2. So, let's get into it. John Wick Chapter 2. So John Wick Chapter 2 is of course the sequel to the first John Wick movie that I last reviewed and that movie came out in 2014. This movie came out in 2017 and it's once again directed by Chad Stahelski and stars Keanu Reeves returning as John Wick. We also got Lawrence Fishburne, Ian McShane, John Leguizamo, Ruby Rose and Michael Scahes... I gotta read these last names. Like, most of the villains' last names in these movies are just hard to read. Oh, it's not even Michael. It's it's Ricardo Skimikeo. Yeah, my mistake. And also Carmen is in this movie as well. So basically, after the events of the first John Wick, John Wick is forcing out of retirement. He wants to get out of the assassination and just live his normal life. He's just got a new dog at the end of the first John Wick movie. Until this Russian hitman came to his home and trying to make a deal with John Wick to do this mission for him and of course he refuses and that's why he blows up his entire house and John Wick has no choice but become an assassin again and do this mission for him but also find him and kill him. Now before I loved the first John Wick movie. I didn't watch the movie theaters, I got on Blu-ray. This movie, the exact same thing. I watched the trailers, I was excited but I never get time to watch this movie in theaters so of course I bought on Blu-ray again, and I was kind of worried about this movie when I first bought it because I was like, is this going to be as good as the first one, or it's going to be more fun than the first one, or it's just going to ruin like every sequel in general. No, it isn't. John Wick Chapter 2 is a fun-ass sequel. Is it as good as the first John Wick movie? I would say no. A lot of people say it was better than the first John Wick, and to me, with story-wise, I think the first John Wick has a way better story than this movie. Even though the story of this movie is well written and well received, I love the story of this movie. Just the first one was a bit better with its written material. There were some really cheesy lines in this movie that kind of bothered me. But still, the story of this movie is well written and great for a sequel like this. The action scene of this movie is more fun than the first one was. The action scenes are just much more fun. And how they filmed were amazing. As I said before, Keanu Reeves did 98 of the stunt of this movie and he did a great job doing these stunts and developing it. The fist fight scenes, the gun fight scenes are all still fantastic in this movie. And I'm gonna say, Keanu Reeves is John Wick, you know what I'm gonna say, he was great in this movie. This role of John Wick is probably the best role for Keanu Reeves. Who else can play John Wick? Keanu Reeves is John Wick. He did a great job in this movie. He was a better character than he was in this movie, I'm gonna say. He's pretty cool in this movie, and most of the action scenes that he does, I appreciate what stunts that he does. But also, what else I love about this movie, and I didn't mention that in my first John Wick review, is that these two movies, especially this movie, sets up this whole world of assassination and the Continental, which is the place where John Wick does work in. And I really love this whole world of assassination. It's different to any other world buildings that I've ever seen because most world buildings are like superheroes, zombie apocalypse and all that stuff. This one, assassination, and I love that. Also, some other characters were great in this movie also, like Lawrence Fishburne. It's really cool to see Keanu Reeves and Lawrence Fishburne together. He was great in this movie. Ian McShane was better in this movie. I loved him for the first movie, but I loved him even more in this movie. Common, I actually really do love, and the fist fight scenes with John Wick and Common are just probably one of my favorites in the entire movie. Their chemistry is so cool in this film. The only problem that I had with John Wick Chapter 2 is Ruby Rose's character. I thought Ruby Rose was just not that well developed. She's one of those hench women that does sign language instead of speaking, and I just thought, ugh, her character is just wasted in this entire movie. But I gotta say, overall, John Wick Chapter 2 is a very good sequel. Honestly, I enjoyed this more than the first one. I wouldn't say it's as good as the first one, but I had more fun with it than the first one. You know what I mean? It's one of those movies that you just watch it with your friends. The action scenes are glory. They're a lot of fun. The soundtrack is really great in this movie. I like that these two movies are kind of different for me. Like, the first movie 
is more of like a revenge film. The second film is more of an action film, and I like those two different combinations. Yeah, there are revenge aspects in this movie, but most of this movie is just an action blockbuster fun, and I really love John Wick Chapter 2, so I'm going to give John Wick Chapter 2 a big thumbs up rating. So guys, let me know down below if you have seen John Wick Chapter 2, if you like the movie or hate the movie, just let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Stardust, Instagram, Twitter, keep contact with me, and of course, my next review is going to be John Wick Chapter 3, and also, I'm planning to review the original Latin leading up to next week's Aladdin, which I'm super pumped because I heard it's got positive reviews. So I'm curious about that movie, and guys, have a nice day.